Groups can be used to speed up the selection of multiple channels you're going to use together regularly. So for example, a colour wash or all the moving lights on a specific truss. A group can hold any number of channels and a channel can be in as many different groups as you wish. To create a group, you first select the channels that you wish to be in the group. You can do this using either the commands or the channel buttons that we described in the previous video. Next, type record and group. This automatically opens the group window on the screen. You can select any one of the empty spaces on the screen or you can type the space number and click enter. Once you have recorded a group, selecting it within this window selects all those channels you recorded within it. You can see these selected in the output window or by the LEDs under the channel faders. Another way to select groups is using syntax. Simply type group followed by the number. For example, group one enter would select all the channels in group one. Once the channels have been selected, the intensity or anything else can be changed in the same way we described in our previous video. So for example, touching a group and then typing at 50 enter will make those channels go to 50%. Or purely as syntax, you could type group five at 50 enter. The and, through and accept buttons mentioned in the previous videos can also be used with groups, either by touch or by typing syntax. There's an and, accept and clear button along the top of the group's window. They're there for convenience if you're using the touch screen, but they work in exactly the same way as the and, accept and clear buttons around the numerical keypad. So, group one and group three Enter selects all the channels within group one and group three. You could of course type group one and group three at 50 enter, which would select all those channels and set their intensities to 50%. Group one and three enter selects all the channels within group one and also channel three, because we did a type group in front of the number three. Group one except group five enter will select all the channels within group one except for any channels that are also in group five. Group one except five enter selects all the channels within group one except for channel five, because again, we did a type group in front of the number five. Groups can be named to identify them. Simply press name and touch the group you want to name, or you can type group five name. This opens an on-screen keyboard so you can type the name you wish to use. An external keyboard can also be used. If using syntax, you can record and name a group in one go. You just select the channels however you want, and then you type record group six name. Type the name and then press the enter key. You can also use groups to record further groups. So for example, I have six groups here, which are six trusses on my stage. With multiple select on, I can select the three odd groups and then record this. I can now select the even groups and record another group of those. Lastly, be aware that groups also store the order the channels were selected in, which is useful when you start applying and offsetting effects to them. So a group where you've typed one through six enter is actually different to a group where you've typed six through one enter which is actually different to a group where you've selected the same six channels, but in a random order.